How's it going everybody? It is Sam with BFPgear.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Control 2 loader from Bunker Kings. Now this is something that I am super excited about because I have used a control loader since day one of those things being released and I am curious to see what the differences are between the Control 1 to the brand new Control 2. So I'm going to go grab a tech mat and then we're going to see you after the intro. All right, got my tech mat here and a brand new Control 2. Um, all right, well, packaging, I mean, packaging looks uh, looks nice. Um, I also like this already too, just right off, the, right off the bat here, compatible with all control top shells. So if you have any uh, control shells maybe left over, you bought that full uh, top shell kit a while back, well, guess what? You are good to go. Um, NTR speed feed or enter for short and a rain lid included and your dual spring ramps already installed. So that is really sweet. Love that. Let's go ahead and open it. Okay. Let's see extras. So you get some extra parts there. You get replacement counterclockwise screw for the drive thumb screw spare enter speed feed finger. So pretty much what you get when you buy a lot of these components separate. So we'll just grab all that, see if there's anything else in the box here. Uh, doesn't look like it. All right, so yeah, control two. This looks pretty good. A little bit, little bit different down here. I mean, I really, really like the low profile of the uh, original control loader, but this still has that pretty low profile. I don't know if we can see it from that angle, but still has that same, that very, very similar shape. Just looks like it's raised just a tiny bit. Um, yeah, you got the speed feed already installed. I like that. The plus 20 shell, always, always good. I, it's one thing that I feel I've struggled with the control one loader was uh, feeding it because of how low the shell sat. This one sits up a little bit higher. And I mean, like, the enter speed feed is, is probably the best speed feed in the game. But I feel like I, I would struggle with loading a pod, a full pod into an empty loader with the control one, but hopefully that's not the case with uh, the control two here. But it looks good. Um, no button on the bottom. There's just a battery little LED indicator here and just a power button. Um, that's, that's actually really nice. I, I prefer this over the button that they previously had, which I thought was a pain in the butt. Of course, like it said on the box there, you got the rain lid, we got the extra tooth, and then I guess this screw, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a screw in there, and I guess that holds down that little cone. So let's go ahead and uh, crack it open here. Looks like it comes apart the same. All right. Okay, so we've got some differences here. Obviously, speed feeds, or sorry, not speed feed, but the spring ramp's already installed, so that's nice. But we have, there's no more cone. There's this little thumb wheel here. It says Titan, so I guess that just locks this piece down. The, uh, the raceway, drivetrain, the cone, uh, whatever we want to call it. But let's go ahead and, oh yeah, that just comes right off. That's okay. This is, this is nice. So one thing I'm already noticing is that because there's no cone in the way, um, one thing that I noticed a lot of the times with the Control 1 is that, it, let's say this had the big red cone in it, and then this front tooth right here for the speed feed, it would always hit the cone and it would struggle to feed paint down and into the loader. I'd always feel like I need to put my pod in here and then lean my loader forward big time. But this is, awesome right here just having that thumb screw and then this just comes right out that's so easy so we got the rubber fins this is if you ever need to like clean it maybe do some maintenance and it looks like it's just directly connected to a motor here i mean this thing looks like it's going to be really really easy to clean like i just took off a screw and this is this was the main piece here and now all i need to do is clean the outside of this of like this little raceway tray. That's that's awesome. I, okay, I like that a lot already. I'm gonna put that back together or I'm gonna forget to do that. So let's see, just 
threads right back in. And I guess that extra screw is if you don't want this, um, this like thumb wheel screw to be there, you can just have it more flush, I suppose. Like that's, that's my, my, my guess. Yeah, it just tightens down. Like this isn't moving at all. That's okay. That's awesome. I like that. Um, let's see, you take the tray out. It looks like you just push this tab forward. So let's push forward and then let's lift up. Come on. There we go. Okay. So the tray sits in there a lot more secure now too. Like that just snapped right out. Um, I like that. The, the magnetic one, I mean, it was cool, but like having something that's like more secure in place, that just feels really good. Uh, the bottom shell is the bottom shell. Got the power button there, the little LED indicator piece. So we'll just put, we're gonna put the shells off to the side and we're gonna look at the, everything else here. But yeah, that's, that's really nice. I like the fact that it snaps in place. We have the button activation, kind of like the Spire 5 right there. Very minimal, like tiny little board here. So if you get any cracked paint or moisture or anything, guess what? It's not really gonna affect your electronics. Um, still takes a three double A's, so that's awesome. You know, nothing's really changed there. Um, and then one cool feature is if it ever gets dirty, this does use like an eye system. Uh, as you can see here, I just pulled out this clear ring and that protects the eye sensors in this little ring here. But you can just get in there and wipe that down if you need to, if you ever have any broken paint or maybe you got shot in the loader and some freak accident thing happens where the paint somehow gets in here. This is a really cool feature. This is something that if any loader out there is using eyes to feed um, or detect balls as they you know drop into your into your paintball gun, this is a cool feature. Definitely do this. So I, I am a huge fan of that already. And that's just gonna make cleaning and maintenance like super, super easy. And then it should just, let's see if I can get it nice and level. Even here, it just pops right back in. It doesn't snap in or anything, it just sits in there. Just in and out. Um, that's pretty much it. Like it seems like it's a, a really, really simple loader. And I think that's great. Just having like a really easy button on and off, having your spring ramps all ready, and then eliminating this cone piece to, you know, so you can fit more paintballs in here and it's going to help feed much more consistently. Um, that is awesome. I am looking forward to uh, seeing more. Yeah, that right there just that little snap of this going back in, like I know this tray is not coming out. Like I'm, I'm pulling on that pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty hard there, but that is not coming out. Um, all right, so now comes the fun part, which is we're gonna put this bad boy onto a marker and we're gonna see how well it feeds and if it can keep up. So let's go outside and shoot some paint. We're out here with the brand new Control 2 Hopper. Got a full loader of paint, and we got this Twister CS3 here in PSP Fast. Let's see if the Control 2 can keep up. Ooh, hitting 16.8 on average. That is pretty dang fast. And it's feeding super smooth. Let's do another string here. All right, we hit 15.6 on that one. So you can safely say that the Control 2 is gonna feed 15 plus balls per second. So if you're looking to pick up a new loader for the season and you're worried about this, maybe keeping up on NXL, have no fear, it's good to go. And there you have it. The brand new Bunker Kings Control 2 Hopper. This thing is going to be absolutely amazing. Not a lot of changes made with the top shell or the bottom shell, but there are a lot of amazing little features in this loader from the control now into the control two. Uh, one thing that I'm a huge fan of already is the fact that you get a speed feed and a rain lid and you get that plus 20 shell. So you get to carry a little bit more paint. And of course your spring ramps are already included. Uh, these are currently priced at about $225 at the time of this video being made. And there are multiple color options. I just have the black one here right now. But if you are looking to pick up a brand new loader, I'd probably look no further. The Control 2 is absolutely phenomenal. And if you wanna pick one up, you can do so right now on bfpgear.com.